Since my dad passed away in 2010, it's been really rough. My mom got into drinking and that's when her addiction started. And it just got really rough from there. Whenever she would get drunk, we don't know how to act because I was so young, so it always scared me. When my mom lived at this house, I'd find vodka bottles all around behind the bed, empty them. When I lived with my mom and her boyfriend, Dean, I felt like I had to take care of my brother. I would be the one waking us up in the morning in time for school when my mom was outside smoking with her boyfriend. When we lived together before, he put his hands on her head when they were arguing one time, and I saw that. I got scared for my mom. Since that's happened, I still have worries, but he has cleaned up a little. I can see that he's trying. He apologized to my mom, but he never fully, like, face-to-face -face apologized to me. I would live with my grandma and grandpa if I can choose where I would live. What did you think about what she just said? I think it... it it makes me very sad, and I, and I know she's being very honest um, about the whole Dean thing. Um, the one, there's one thing that she says in there that I absolutely disagree with. She felt like she had to take care of her brother because we were outside smoking cigarettes. That is absolutely not true. We had one car, and I had to take him to work. And it's not that I'm picking a man over my children. It's that I am... I wanted to, for us all to work together. And as you heard my daughter say, she does see a change in him too. And she's not saying that to please me. Would you like to know what I said to him? Yes. You don't ever put your hands on a woman in anger. I don't care why. And what's gonna happen here is this is gonna blow up. It's gonna get volatile. The police are gonna get involved. He's gonna get arrested. He's gonna get convicted. He's gonna go to prison. And if he's got a brain in his head, he will get away from you and away from this relationship until an independent professional tells him that you are stable enough to be around and he has his anger and impulses under control. Because he does not and you are not. Yeah, I agree. Now, I've had a very candid conversation with your mother, and by the way, I thanked her profusely for stepping up and filling the gap for those children because if they were not with her, they would be in foster care, and that is a broken system. Robin and I work in that system. Robin, is that a broken system or not? No one knows how broken it is, and it's very likely those children would be taken and separated and never see each other ever again, never see either one of you. It's just horrible at the thought of where they could end up tonight if taken from either one of you. Uh, they could be locked in a closet, put on a floor to sleep and cry every night wondering where grandma is and wondering why, where mother is and why would either one of you do this to them and say every night, what did I do to deserve this?